Ooh, what do you say, folks? We back in here today. I got a couple rigs I'm gonna put together, but I, I thought about this. I just throw this engine up on this skid, and now's the time to think about servicing that engine. Brand new. What's the man gonna do when he gets ready to change at all? Well, I'm gonna tell you what he's up against. Now, I don't have this mounted on the skid yet, but it's there for you to try and see. This is one of the oil drains for this unit right here. The other one, located right here on the other side, pretty much the same predicament. I'll show you why. You get ready to change oil, and you pull this plug out, that oil is going to go all over this frame, under the engine. What a mess to clean up. We need to make it a little more simple. In the past, I had used these devices. It's a very popular little oil drain device. You screw it in to take that plug out, screw this in, you should be good. But the problem with that is, A, it's going to stick straight out. And then you have to fold it over and put it in that little keeper. That don't really work well for me. I want it to come out at a 90 and run back here. I've been using this hardware. Use me a quarter, 90 push lock, a straight push lock, and a cap. Missing a piece. Let me get it for you. This piece right here, this is what makes it work. This is a 12 mil by quarter. I guess before we get too deep into why I use this system and not this, I'll take a quick minute to explain to you. You see the size of that small drain hole right there? Well, that's a strike against it in my opinion. When I could be draining at this size. I like this better. Not only that, you see what you're looking at right here? That's so thin, I broke this one and didn't even put a wrench on it. I twisted that off by hand. That's what brought this about. I don't like it. I ain't using it no more. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my 90. I'm going to get the hose assembly portion put together. I'm going to put a little lubricant on here. Help me out with that hose a little bit. Not much, just a little bit. Get me a little help going on there. Because once this goes on, it don't come back off now. That's why that fitting's made the way it is. Fitting's got these ridges on it. And once I shove that hose on there, that's what makes it lock. It doesn't pull back off. I'll take my handy dandy heat gun. Get some heat on it, and when I get it heated up well enough, well, at that point, we're going to shove it on that fit. Now, I always check that little yellow ring, I know I've got it seated when it don't sit there and spin. On our straight side, I'm just going to put a little Teflon tape on here and put the cap on. That's what's going to make, this is what we're going to open from in the future to do our drain. Tighten this piece up. Get my hose on it. 
We ain't trying to melt nothing. We're just trying to get it soft. Made me a nice little drain assembly with the addition of, of course, the uh, the adapter to come out of the engine block. So let's go install it. This is why we do it first. That being the situation, if this engine was mounted down, how, how am I going to install that? This has got to be the first step in my project. I'm doubting they is, but they test these, and there's sometimes a little oil in there, not much. We'll just give it a little incline. I'll take my 13 millimeter socket's been taking these off for me. And this is this is a 14 horse Vanguard engine. I use this same I use the same oil adapter and assembly on. Honda GX390s and on the Kohler CH440 engine. All I'm going to do is get me a little drop of Loctite. This is not for sealing. This is just a little insurance. That washer, that is my flange seal. This washer right here is my flange seal. This is what's going to seal to the crankcase to prevent oil leakage. around there and we're not gonna run this down tight tight we're gonna snug it keep in mind that washer is what's doing my sealing once it touches all I'm gonna do is give it a little snug no more than that is needed and we can get it started This is the direction I'm gonna to want to end up at though. And you'll see why here in a second. There we go. Engine mounted to the skid. And I got me a nice little drain tube. When he gets ready to do his first oil change, all he's gotta do is take that off and catch oil over here. Look good to me.